Chapter 5, 8.30 p.m. Past 8.30 already. I could use a little food. I guess being hungry is a sign that I'm still alive. Hey, I could go huh. to that place, the one with the huh. fire earlier in the Behind day. you, look. Oh, it's just that guy. Hi. Art museum or library? I heard it was a tough decision. That was almost 100 years ago. Um, I, sure. Man, what happened to you? Did you, like, fall down and hurt your back or something? You used to be so ripped. Oh, well. Yeah, the, um, where was that? The, um, that's the wrong button. The, oh, I'm far away from the bar. The, the place to eat. I gotta go all the way over there. Alright, here's the place. Get me in, dear. Have a seat over there. What's good to eat around here? Oh, everything. Meat's good. Vegetables are good. If you don't have anything particular in mind, well, why don't you try the special? All right. I'll have that. Coming right up. You're going to love this. The science of alchemy has, as its grail, two great projects. One is the synthesis of the elixir of life, that which would free mankind from all ills of the body. The other is an amalgam, purely scientific in nature, the creation of a homunculus, an artificial life. Both require as their central ingredient a red stone, known as the Philosopher's Stone. Hmm. The Philosopher's Stone. Wow, could that be? Here we shall briefly examine the life of Wolfgang Wagner, whose alchemical prowess was known throughout the region. Though born a farmer's son, he became the ward of wealthy kin after his prodigious intellect was recognized and pursued studies in medicine and theology at university. Following this period, he seems to have made his living as an apothecary while pursuing the science of alchemy. However, what secured his lasting fame was no doubt the manner in which he met his end. Amid rumors of his engagement in an experiment of great magnitude and duration, Dr. Wagner's house was shaken by a thunderous explosion. And the alchemist himself was never seen again. It is often said that a no more fitting end could have been imagined for a magus such as he. Uh oh. Hmm. That sounds kind of suspicious. Here you are. Enjoy. Um. That's not in front of me. But, uh, I. Hello, Ike. How are things going? Have you found anything out? That's an interesting book you have there. Hmm? You want to look at it? Uh, please, don't shove that near me. I, I don't like the symbol on the cover. What, this? You don't like this pentagram kind of thing? You're a little strange. Well, of course I am. In any case, I know the contents of that book. Dr. Wagner, who is mentioned in the book, had a daughter. 
And she's a very significant figure to you. What? Like she's one of my ancestors? <laughs> but you see, the digipad is drawn to that age because of the link, whatever it is. Please, don't forget the red stone. I'm looking for it too, but I believe that you are the one who is fated to acquire it. Getting your hands on it will be a step towards avoiding your own death as well. Remember that, Ike. Ah, oh, where'd he go? Hey, I, I need more. Gone again. This is a really one-sided kind of relationship. Me and the age this book talks about. What's the connection? What the... Oh, am I... Tired or something? Oh, oh no! Dead again. Oh. What you died of? What? It was poisonous, poison, probably from the sea hell. It uses the female of a type of sea slug as the basic raw material. You can control the rapidity of the effect and the intensity of symptoms by how you blend it. I'd say that was the culprit, but you'll need to look into the details yourself. Why don't you try the library? Oops. I guess it's the obvious one now. See you around. I guess it's the art museum now? What does that mean? Uh, what do I do? If we can go back in time, that's what I do. Get me out of here. Um. Mr. Alfred and the others again, hundred hundred years ago. I'm back. The camera, like, it doesn't say close enough to the character, like, I can't, like, move it up or down. It's just always locked to, like, my character's waist. Which is super weird. What's up, boys? I'm still not sure, you see. Uh, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. Uh, oh. A library wouldn't be a bad idea either, don't you agree? I guess a library is better. Okay, you've helped me make up my mind. A library it is. That was pretty simple and straightforward and easy, huh? Hey, how about I go to the feature right in front of you guys? Like, like, directly in front of you. You might get pulled in with me. Nope. Just me by myself. Like, the story scene is like, oh no, somebody saw him do time travel. But everything else is like, the actual gameplay doesn't, doesn't even support that. Why even bother at, at any point that then? Well, I'm back. I'm ready to go to the library. My dog wants to go to the library too. Doesn't seem noticeably different so far.
Ah. Books. Beautiful, beautiful books. Right over there. Music is also slightly different. It's the same tune, but with different instruments. Before it was, um... Piano, but now it's like, um... Some kind of stringed instrument. I don't know what it is. Let's take this. Sea hair poison. The female sea hair is very poisonous. The only way to survive poisoning is by taking the antidote. The person poisoned can only survive the number of days that the sea hair from where the poison was extracted had survived. After that time period has elapsed, the person poisoned will die instantaneously. Among the various antidotes, the best one is that that derived from the male sea hair. If this is used when one starts feeling the effects of the poison, he will soon start feeling the curing effects. However, this poison no longer exists in our time. It is unfortunate that we can no longer feel the effects of this antidote. What? Shouldn't that be a good t thing? I, I think I have a really good solution for you. How about you just don't eat at that place? Is it that hard? To just not eat the food there? This all is pretty much the same. How about up here? Oh yeah, there's still paintings of- oh no, here's books. Here is book. Any more book to read? Photographs instead of paintings. Hmm. For the most part. Yeah, it's supposed to be a photo, I'm pretty sure. This weird room is still the same. So, if the sea here doesn't exist here, in our time, it should exist. Oh, in the past. Four years have passed since I first came here. This is some sort of a link to me. Oh. Oh, no. No, no! It's too dangerous! Don't get too near that house! There was an explosion just now. What with him dabbling in all that science? It's no wonder. God sent his judgment down. <laughs> uh, is the is this Dr. Wagner's house? Oh, so you knew him, did you? Well, anyway, you'd best not stick your nose in, or you'll be cursed too. See if you don't. So, this was Dr. Wagner's place. Hmm. Well, let me just go in there, easily. Oh, wait a minute. One of those things. Doesn't matter how far in time you go back into. Dogs is always dogs. Looks like this is as far as I go. If there was an explosion just here, wouldn't this dog be too spooked to come here? Or like, wouldn't, um... Like, wouldn't... <sighs> Whatever. 
Yo, what up? Excuse me. Haven't we met before? We sure have. All right. The, uh, I see ya. Where are the flowers I asked to be put here? What the hell? Butcher. Ooh, I like to, to see some meat right there. Um, the butchers. Yo, what up? What? Looking for meat? Hey, you're kind of cute. I'll tell you what. You can have the scrap meat over there for free. Got cut of meat. Thanks, babe. Go ahead, and take whatever scrap meat you need. Cool. I I'm later. See ya. Now that- th oh, whoa. There's a person here. I say, something sure smells good around here. Is this bakery? There's some bread that I, I'd like to need. I don't know, man. Can I spread some butter on you, girl? My dream is to keep this shop going forever and ever. Wow, that's really boring. Anything interesting going on back here? Nope. Hey, she's got some pants. She's ready for when they come a stabbing. Oh, that's it right there. Atelier. Atelier. Whatever. <gasps> that's him. What do you want? Well, uh, nothing in particular. All right then, I'll start by introducing myself. I am the painter Carl Franson. And you? You don't look like someone seeking an apprenticeship. I'm Ike Kush. Well, Ike Kush, have you heard anything interesting lately? Well... Hmm. Um, I don't... About the painting that which will inspire this statue. I don't remember what this is. Oh, I heard that too. Recently. I honestly did. Perhaps I'll try painting a piece on that very subject. Um... Sure. I think this is something else entirely, like a, a different... This would be important on a branch of, um... On a branch of, um... Like, plotline that I'm not currently on. Do I have anything to give him? Piece of meat. Maybe we'll give it to a dog. Oh, really? Yo, check out this super realistic photo. Nope, doesn't care. Alright. Well, I saw him. Alright, doggy dog. Take this. Bam. Wow, that is tiny. 
That is insignificant. Now he has enough energy to survive the next day. I'm such a hero. I like the idea of, um, this place just blew up and there's, like, tons of smoke and shit everywhere, and, like, none of the other townspeople or people are helping at all. They literally could not care less about this alchemist dude. Look at that. It's a key. What? I don't even know what key it is, but I can go back, apparently. Got lab key. Here I am in the lab. Um. Yep. Pretty bad down here. Where can I go? I can go back to before it was um all crushed in, all all exploded. So that's an automatic use item? Okay, fine. Is that you, Hugo? No, I'm... Whoever you are, I want you out. How did you get in here? Look, excuse me, but are you Dr. Wagner? Yes, that is correct. Wow, say, is that for your research into the homunculus? Someone has been telling you things you ought not to know. Is it Hugo? Ah, but of course, I don't think I've told him yet. No, it, it wasn't. Call, well, call it a hunch. A hunch? Well, if you say so. Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave now. And if you can, forget about what you saw in this room, please. Are you by any chance looking for the Philosopher's Stone? What did you say? You mean that you have it? Well, no, I, I don't know if it's the one. But I have seen a stone, a red stone. Ah. Should you gain possession of it, allow me a small amount. I beg of you, please. Wow. Whatever's in that pot is really important. If it's like every question I ask, he's like, oh, just go back to the pot. Yo, I need some medicine. Hey. Hey. can be completed. It will prove my theories correct. If only I had the Philosopher's Stone. Hey, if only I had some antidote and I could not die. That sure would be nice, wouldn't it? So yeah, that's it. That's his giant test tube for Homunculus. Hmm. I have anything to give him? Don't think so. Could give him a frying pan. I don't know if he'd like that. Oh, who are 
you. Hi. Sorry if I startled you. Aren't you the one from... Uh, I think you were looking for someone, weren't you? Quite a while ago. It's been some time. Did you find whoever it was? No, not yet. You're still looking? I'm impressed. Hasn't it been at least two years? Well, I tried finding her too. Afterwards. But I didn't have any luck. I'm sorry. But a lot happened to us right after you came. Mother passed away, you know. Oh, yes. Hugo's still at school. He started this year, and he's gotten serious about learning. I think he's decided to follow in our father's footsteps. But I shouldn't just make you listen to me talking. I'm sorry. So, what brings you here today? Is there something around here called a, a sea hair antidote? What? What's the matter? Why do you need something like that? Uh, well... It's here on the shelf. Help yourself. I won't tell father. Thank you. You're welcome. Is she my ancestress? What? what Do I have something on my face? Oh, sorry. I, I was just... I mean, I, I, di I didn't mean to... Heck, I guess I'll be going now. Huh? You're going already? Why don't you just stay a while? You can tell me about the future and things. Please. So everyone thinks I'm from the future after all. Well, Hugo's the only one who says so, and nobody else believes him. Except me, that is. It's more interesting that way, don't you think? So tell me, what is it like in your time? Hmm. Uh, okay, then. Oh. No. Good. Oh, I have some things to deliver, so I'll walk with you. Ike, this is a big no-no. Don't talk to, about your future to the past people. That's bad to do. You ever watch any time travel movies any, at all? Any back to the future? No? Why is it so foggy? Someone, a friend of mine called Mr. Eckert. In my time, he's a director of an art museum. Yes, and? Well, I met Mr. Eckert's great-grandfather about a hundred years in the past, and you won't believe how alike they look. The face and hair. Well, they're both pretty young, but the hair... <laughs> you mean a little thin, maybe like the Squires? And I mean in the same way. You know, on the top. <laughs> I guess that sort of thing is in the blood. <laughs> yeah. Come to think of it, they both had a daughter. Oh. What is it? Well, Mr. Eckert said his daughter. She's gone. You mean something happened to her? Yeah, a, a crime of some sort. But like 20 years ago. And the funny thing is, it seems like he's still waiting for her to come back. I see. I guess that happens. It's like Hugo not being able to forget Mother. Family ties are strong, aren't they? Say, it's gotten dark already. Sorry if I've kept you. Not at all. I enjoyed the conversation. Oh, here we are. Will you wait a second? Huh? Dana? My controller's rumbling. What? God.
What's the matter? It's just that she looked like her. That girl you've been looking for? Yes, but I lost sight of her. Maybe it wasn't even her. Well, I need to go home now. Is that all right? Of course. Uh, sorry about that. It's okay. But you really are from a different world altogether, aren't you? Oh. I... Well... Uh... Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the things you've told me. Not that anyone would believe me anyway. Thank you. It would be better if you could. I don't think I should be leaving anything behind in this age. Not just actual things, but talking about stuff too, oh. like I just did. Really? Huh? What do you mean? Well, like, suppose I were to kill someone in this age. That's a terrible thing to say. Oh, bad example? Well, anyway, if that person were supposed to live till a hundred and have lots of kids and grandkids, but if I interfere with his life at this point, those kids and grandkids will never be born, and all their descendants in my time will just disappear. Do you get that? Yes, I think so. So the more I interfere with the past, the more the future will change. It may not be as serious as that example I just used, but anything I do here could affect the future. I don't quite understand yet. But I'll sleep on it. Your age is very interesting to me. I wish I could see it. It's nothing exciting. Kind of boring, really. But I still want to see what it's like. I don't know why, but I feel such a strong pull towards it. Won't you take me to your time? N no, I, I can't do that. It's not possible. The future will change. After all, you're my... Huh? You're what? Yo, I think you might be my great, 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 great grandma. Oh. Wait a sec. Did I just say something really important? What? I couldn't hear you. You're probably me, my really great, 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 great grandma. It's not as though I've looked up whether I'm descended from you or not. But you should forget about me and live a regular life here in this world. Oh, I see. An ancestress, huh? That's how you see me. Oh. I thought... Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. I, I didn't mean... I'm sorry if I've been a bother. I was out of line. Margaret. I, I was born here, and someday I shall marry someone and have children, grow old and die. And it's all been decided already, hasn't it? And then my child will have a child, then that child too, and all the way at the end of that repetition is you. That's what you mean. And if I were to break away from my time right now, you would never be born. Something like that, maybe. I can't be sure. I don't have any memory of my parents, so... I understand. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. You'll come over again, won't you? To tell me all these wondrous things? That's allowed, isn't it? I will. So see you again soon. Hugo, did you just get back? Yeah, he just walked in the no, front door. I heard everything. I didn't mean to be a snoop, but it didn't seem like I could just walk in. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Oh, for heaven's sake. You could have just come in. 
I was just trying to be tactful, after all, sis. That's quite all right. Oh, um, Hugo? What? Are you still, you know, mother's lock of hair? What? I know how much you miss mother, but you can't carry that thing around forever. Sh shut up! What do you mean, that thing? How could you say something like that? It's not as though I'm doing anything wrong. Oh my. I'm sorry, that didn't come out quite right, but... You're the one who's being weird, changing the subject as soon as it gets a little thorny. Hugo. It's your fault. You ought to know that. Hugo, father can't be disturbed. I know. <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I, I should get going. <laughs> yes, I'll see you soon. I'm sorry it was so hectic around here. He's always like this. I just can't do a thing with him once he gets upset. So I just leave him alone when he's this way. Hey, sis. Are you sure you just want to let him go like this? Oh, stop that, Hugo. Well, uh, here. Will you take it? Consider it a token of appreciation for all the stories you told me. I've had that ever since I was little. Hmm. It's strange. When I touch it, I sometimes see a picture of this man in my head. He's not anyone I've met. He's much, much older. Like my father's age. I have this sensation like he's patting me on the head. But it doesn't feel weird at all. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. You must think I'm strange now. No, of course not. I've never told anyone about this. Well, anyway, take it. Are you sure? Yes, something to remember today by. Good job, sis. Hugo, stop eavesdropping. Thank you, Margaret. See you. Okay. Got antidote. Got comb. Comb. Man in the picture looks up. Oh. Comb. Where's the comb? Did I pass it by? There it is. Antique comb. Precious gift from Marguerite. Hmm. Mar Margaret. Marguerite. Marguerite. Uh, looking at that Resident Evil 7 made me think of it. Antidote made from male C here. Alright, we got our, our quarry. Actually, hang on. Before we go, let's take a peek around real quick. Yeah, alright. I thought I could find something else, but no such luck. Oh well. Maybe another time. <laughs> Get it? Do you, you see what I... Because it's time travel and... It's, yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. oh no, I'm dying. I'm gonna die soon. Oh no. Better take that mantidote. There we go. Bombs up. Chapter 5 complete. Yay!